Both the president and White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki have signaled that the pandemic will be a focal point of tonight's address, coinciding with the one-year mark since the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus a global pandemic. The president's first primetime address also comes as his administration celebrates a major legislative win, the passage of that $1.9 trillion stimulus package. News Nation's Washington, D.C. correspondent Joe Khalil joins us live with a preview of what to expect during tonight's speech. Joe. And Nicole, these addresses from the White House directly to the nation, particularly uh, from the East Wing, uh, these are not commonplace. These usually signify a moment, and I think that's what the White House believes they have before them right now is a moment. You know, President Biden came into office here sort of under this cloud uh, of the pandemic, and clearly he was going to be judged, at least early on in his term, by how he handles the pandemic. So signing this $1.9 trillion uh, COVID relief package, one of the largest stimulus packages uh, in our nation's history, you know, certainly it's not winning the war, but it's a significant battle against COVID-19. So I think that's a lot of what you're going to hear tonight is how this package itself is going to be helping families nationwide, how the president and his administration uh, trying to sell people on the fact that there is something in it for everybody and that, you know, this may be the beginning of the end. I think it's also going to be very forward looking and I think we're going to hear about some of the next stages in the fight against the pandemic and what this White House has in store uh, moving forward. So at the same time, I think we're going to be watching tone very carefully. Carefully, Nicole, because you know you can't really take a victory lap. So while they may celebrate certain things and the help it may offer to the American public, I think there's also going to be a more somber tone about the reality that a lot of people have experienced loss. We still have more than 500,000 deaths uh, because of this virus, and I think it's going to be a balance that the president is likely going to have to uh, walk there when we talk about how he's going to address uh, both the current situation and then moving forward, looking ahead into the summer and. How how you sort of get back into normal life. So certainly we're going to see this is the first major address that President Biden is giving to the nation. Uh, it'd be interesting how he decides to walk uh, that line. Yeah, we'll see shortly. All right, Joe, thank you.